Hello all, my uh, BG7 TBL GPS uh, disciplined oscillator uh, was starting to drift lower and lower in frequency and what the issue was, was the um, frequency air correction voltage to the supply Trimble 65256 oven was uh, at its upper limit of uh, 4.9 volts and was no longer able to net the oven uh, back into um, back to 10 megahertz for it to lock so I went in and replaced uh, the oven and I did some experiment I originally bought another 65 256 and it works quite well it's a good oven Except I wanted to try one of the Oscillocort's 8663 XS's, which is regarded by many as one of the best uh, small package uh, oven control oscillators. It's it's even a, a supposed to be a double oven. Uh, some debate on that online. Uh, I'm not going to take it apart. It's, it's all sealed, uh, soldered all around, sealed, and it works well. So I'm not going to take it apart to find out. But um, reports are it is a double oven. And there's a couple things you have to do on the bottom of the board to uh, make this oven work, but it's all, all the provisions are there for, for it. So if we take the stock um, Trimble uh, part, and this is the orientation on the board, we have um, ground, and it runs uh, on 5 volts, um, voltage uh, frequency uh, correction of 0 to 5 volts, and then our output, 10 megahertz sine wave output. Um, the board, GPSDO, is built to handle many ovens, and the 8663XS fits uh, perfectly, but we have this zero ohm resistor right here with the tremble this is the 5 volt jumper this feed this uh, feeds regulated 5 volts to the oven with this resistor over in this position right here over here it feeds uh, the input power directly which is 12 volts you know through some input filtering so it drops a little bit 11 point 8, 11.7 volts, somewhere around there, to um, the uh, um, input for power to the oven. So we need to move this resistor from the 5 volt position to 12 volt position. The other thing we need to do is this is an LM358 op amp. He's using uh, just a, a simple uh, negative gain uh, or non inverting uh, uh, amplifier. Uh, the output from the DAC for the uh, voltage, frequency correction voltage, is 0 to 3.3 volts. So by default, the gain on the sample fire is about 1.5. So the frequency air correction voltage to the oven is 0 to 4.95 volts. If you jumper the solder pad that says X2, uh, that changes the gain to two times. So it takes the 0 to 3.3 .3 volts, turns it to basically 0 to 6.6 .6 volts. And also, he included a 3 times uh, pad. If you jumper this pad, uh, that makes it 0 to 9.9 .9 volts. But my uh, 8663 uh, oven I have here happens to net exactly at 10 megahertz at... Uh, 4.83 volts. So 0 to 6.6 .6 is perfect. Um, I don't want to amplify the any jitter or instability and I want to get the most resolution out of the, the DAC as I can. So the 2 times 0 to 6.6 .6 works. Even the 1.5 times 0 to 4.95 uh, works just fine except if the oven ever drifts a little bit um, and it's no longer um, able to net on frequency, I, I don't want to have to go back into that time and change it, so I just did right now. Anyways, uh, there you go. That's all you have to do to get one of these 
Acyl Quartz 8663 ovens working on the GP7 or uh, BG7 TBL GPSDO. Also, um, I don't have any sitting out here right here. I have um, in some equipment installed some of the UT, UC, UTC 10 uh, 8663 uh, double ovens uh, that you can buy off of eBay, new old stock right now, and they work fantastic. Um, I actually have a couple more coming, and they're a clone of the Acilicorts. So you can pick up those and stick them in here. I think they're $29 online right now uh, from a guy here locally in California. Anyways, there you go. Hope that helps. Bye.